Now, what are some of the solutions here? Because there's people who can afford it, including most of the people who are the decision makers in this country, from CEOs to politicians, they put their kids in private schools. Good luck to them, rightio. Most people don't have ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars a year to be able to do that. So, what are some practical solutions about how we have structured our system that can start to jolt better results? Uh, there's no magic bullet, uh, as the Americans would say, no single bullet. But uh, as I say, when I looked at the benchmarking projects, there are three or four things straight away that stand out. In overseas countries, especially those that do better, and mainly the Asian countries, there's a respect for teachers. We have one of the most uh, disruptive, noisy classrooms among the OECD countries. And so the first thing is to get classrooms that are disciplined, where the teachers are authority figures rather than facilitators and guides by the side, all this new age jargon they use now. So discipline, we need to have a rigorous curriculum. I reviewed the national curriculum, 2014 co-chaired co that. All of our recommendations were basically ignored, but we need to have a rigorous curriculum based on uh, what actually works in the classroom in terms of effective teaching and learning. And we do need parents to uh, really uh, contribute. I mean, I'm amazed my daughter Amelia taught, uh, as a, or teaches as a primary school teacher. She tells me she's got uh, kids coming into school eight or nine years old who will, when they're given a, a picture book, will swipe it because they think it's an iPad or, or uh, some kind of digital uh, reader. Parents must read to their children, give them picture books, teach kids to respect authority, and we need to better resource teachers because at the moment they're drowning in red tape and bureaucracy. So we need to give teachers and schools greater flexibility and autonomy, like charter schools in America, free schools in England, get rid of this bureaucratic overload and give schools and teachers greater control. Good on you, Kevin. Thank you so much, mate. You are a, a clear light, but one that's been sounding the alarm for a long time. Let's continue to do so until someone listens, mate. I appreciate your work, your passion, your focus and the chat tonight. Thank you.